New question, the member from Halton. Speaking of cars, Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Premier. Last week, Premier, in front of the cameras, uh, you promised a new auto plant for Ontario. Quote, uh, we will add a new auto assembly plant here in Ontario, and we will create more jobs and all kinds of spin-off jobs. In particular, the Premier named the Italian auto giant Fiat, SPA. Surely the Premier would not make such an announcement without some details secured. That would be highly irresponsible. Premier, will there be a new Fiat plant in Ontario? And when? Premier? Well, Speaker, the, um, I, Speaker I, I know that the, uh, the opposition party uh, want us to grow this economy. I know they want us to land a new auto plant. They want us to express our determination and our resolve in so doing. But, Speaker, what we'd like to have is their support yeah. for our auto sector strategy. Here, here. They oppose our $1.15 billion Next Generation of Jobs Fund. They oppose the half billion dollars that landed $8 billion in new investment, Speaker. When I visit Italy, Speaker, and when I visit with the Fiat people, I hope to be able to say I have the support of the opposition party. I'm here to speak on their behalf as well, and then they support, they fully support this public investment that we will make in terms of doing everything we can to land this new investment here in Ontario. Supplementary. Mr. Speaker, I'll take that as I, uh, I don't have a clue. Mr. Speaker, this was obviously... This was, on, this was obviously another classic example, a classic example of Liberal grandstanding in front of the cameras and another broken promise from the Premier. In fact, these kinds of fake news stories and photo ops compromise our bargaining position at the table with foreign investors. Premier, will you, will you admit that this uh, announcement has no substance and that you made it only to save face in light of the Oshawa job losses? I think you made it up. Premier. You know, the, um, the, the member opposite uh, calls our $1.15 billion Next Generation of Jobs Fund and our um, auto sector strategy, he references that as a corporate welfare speaker. Shame. Uh, we see that different, and, and I'll tell him, if he was to phone uh, any of my colleagues, speaker, across the, gov the, the country, or to phone any uh, U.S. governor's office and ask them if they had any kind of supports available, any kinds of initiatives that they're prepared to put on the table, anything at all they're prepared to do to compete with public dollars to land new private sector investment, they're all going to give you the same answer. It's yes. We're either in the game or we're not in the game. Ontario chooses to be in the game. So far, we've landed $8 right billion dollars in new investment with at least 8,000 direct jobs. Speaker. What I'd like to be able to say as we try to hustle business around the world is we have the support of the official opposition as we do that.